Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss K Chris and I do all videos about flight attendant tips, beauty and travel vlogs. Today's video is a beauty video wherein I'm going to show you how I would put my makeup, this makeup and my hair if I were going to apply for the Air Asia cabin crew recruitment that is coming up this June 24. So if you want to watch how I put this makeup, just keep on watching. So guys, I'm gonna start with a moisturizer from Nooks. I'm just gonna put it all over my face and my neck. Next thing I'm gonna do after I moisturize my face, I like using mineral water. This is a bio essence mineral water. Uh, it's like Evian. It's just to dampen my face. Because uh, I have a very dry face. And I also use this to dampen my beauty blender. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use uh, this is my uh, Natural Raptor Cover Face Concealer. So this is my number one concealer for me because um, it, I just been so young with it. Ever since I started using makeup, I've always loved using this. But there are a lot of moisturizers out there that you can use. So I just put my moisturizer in and I will put it under my eyes. at my forehead so guys if you have any blemishes that you want to cover it's nice to use a my uh, concealer na one shade darker than your skin so this uh, moisturizer is for um, acidic type this is the number 130 because I have acidic skin so you will see now na the the makeup looks a little bit whiter than my skin but it's good because after a few hours it will blend out already because I have acidic skin type these days so yeah. I'll just blend the concealer all over my face sometimes at work I could pull off just using the natural after face concealer and not using a foundation anymore. That is if you want to have a very light look. But for this look, we're gonna make sure that we are ready for battle. So we're gonna add some more on top of the concealer. So I look so white on the video. Uh, this is because yeah, this is the technique. If you have acidic skin, you should have a lighter shade when you apply your makeup. Because later on, what happens is it will oxidize siya, and then it will become darker. So if you use the just the right amount or just the right color of your skin tone as your uh, makeup, later on, since you have acidic skin, it will come off darker. So it's better to use shades na one step lighter. So I, I just blend some here. So I don't really use a powerful a powerful foundation. Um cause these days I don't use a powerful foundation during work. Cause I use makeup every day so work. So what I use is the natural raptor and this um Misha BB cream. Perfect cover BB cream. I really like Misha, it's one of my favorite um Korean brands. Lalo na yung foundation nila or yung powder. That is what I use actually. And so I just put it on my beauty blender and let's put it all over. Even though I'm not so good in makeup, 
I really like learning about it, discovering new things, you know. Makeup kasi is power eh. <laughs> for girls. Sabi nga nila, have you ever heard of the quote that the girls' main weapons are tears and makeup? <laughs> so yeah, I really like that quote. So we can, we are using this uh, powder just to set. This is actually the contouring palette from Douglas, which I bought in uh, Germany. So this is how it looks like. It has uh, shades na white and shades na um, brown contour. So I like using this yellowish shade. So we are using, using this one sa gitna. Just to set those areas na madaling mag crease. So that is the under eye area. And here is the nose. I'm just using this uh, foundation brush. Which is actually probably not the right brush for this purpose. But yeah. So love lines. So I like using this uh, medio, medio brown on the middle, na color earth tone, to do my contouring. So I use this here on areas here, para hindi masyadong mapute, kasi I tend to have a really white hairline when I do the makeup. So I'm gonna put it to cheeks. Dito rin sa chin. Ayan. And then ng face. So, I'm gonna use this brush to blend. So, I also like doing the nose line using the contouring. So, we need to contour our nose, especially if you are Asian. Especially if you're Filipino. This is a must. <laughs> this is a must step. You must do. Just to make some definitions on your nose. So now we will move on to the eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Pomid from uh, In Dark Brown. And I'm using the brush number 14. So it's a different buy. If you buy this, you also have to buy a different brush. And I really like this because you know guys, I've always been uh, struggling with my non-existent eyebrows. And I have done some research. Of course, we're always doing research about eyebrows. And so far, this has been the most suggested. So what you do is you just dip your this tip of the brush over here and um, we line our brows like so we start from the bottom and we just line it carefully and I like what I like about pomade is that you can um, use it artistically as if you are drawing little hairs on your brows so, mas nadadagdagan ng non-existent brows natin. And also, you, you can make it very dark to make a statement. And that is very nice if you are going to an interview. Sometimes you want to have statement brows. And you don't want it to look as tough as those pencils. So, pomade. It has a very different texture than the pencil. And also, it lasts longer. Kahit na magpawisan ka, it stays in. Unless na tanggalin mo siya by hand, it's there. So just fill in the middle. So what I did, I put the line sa baba, and then I put a line sa taas, and I'm filling the middle of it. So, dito sa may harap, laging dapat mas lighter siya. Kesa sa nandito sa gitna and sa likod. Ayan. So, what's good about this is you could definitely make 
a shape of your brows. If you if it's not there, just like mine, di ba? So, bigla na karon na ng kilay, guys. Yeah. All right. So that's the kilay. Another of my secret weapon for the for the eyebrows is I use this Benefit Gimme Brow, Gimme Brows. Okay, I really like using it because it really puts the hairs up together and it gives more definition to the eyebrows. So I just put it like so. Ayan, parang kumakapal siya, di ba? So hindi lang siya pomade. Meron pa siyang benefit, Gimme Brow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply concealer underneath and above it to make it pop, okay? To make the eyebrows cleaner and make it pop. So here, then to the eyes. That's the eyebrows. And now we will go on, we will move on to the eyeshadows. So I like using this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion for the eyeshadow primer. Kasi with it, nag-aano talaga, dumidikit yung eyeshadow colors. And you, if you are going for an interview, maybe it will take the whole day for you to go there. So it's nice to have a primer. For the eyes, para mas magstick yung makeup mo sa ano, sa eyes. So for my base, I'm gonna use this uh, brown, this pinkish brown color. I'm using sa eyeshadow pala is Maybelline, the blush nudes. I really like this palette. So I'm gonna put that all over sa I know. Highly. That's my base. When you become a flight attendant, you are gonna do this every day. So you're really at least if you don't love makeup now, at least you are interested, just like me. So that's our base. And after the base, now I'm gonna use this from also from uh, Naked Urban Decay Basics. I'm using the shade Naked 2 for the outer layers. So I just put it here the outer layers of my eyes to create that. Kailan to kasi, yung makeup, it depends on what kind of eyes do you have. There we go. So that is the brown color. So, just to highlight that, um, just to blend more colors, make my eyes more fun, I'm gonna use this a little bit, um, uh, it looks like a uh, maroonish brown color dito sa Maybelline Blush Nudes. I'm gonna use that here, so dito na, just to make it pop a little bit Taas, on top of our base, you can see, yeah. parang iko continue yun lang. Just to add some more colors. So that's my eyeshadow. So also after you created that, now we have to highlight yung underneath na eyebrows. So I use the white shimmery one, the whitest shimmery one here. Sa Maybelline blush palette. Just dun sa ano sa area where we put our concealer. Okay, just also outside of it, just to highlight. 
Ayan. Ayan. And that is on top of the darker eyeshadow. There we go. And then um, I'm gonna use the base that we use sa ilalim, sa underneath of my eyes, sa inner corner. So I'm gonna use the first one. Is I'm using this angled brush tip to put it here, the waterline. Yeah, where my accent. So that's how it looks. Eyeliner. To use the eyeliner for my eyes. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but for my eyes, I don't like to touch my my eyes with my hands. So I just use a beauty blender to put it out. So I would usually just line half my eyes, okay, and let it blend out. Because my eyes are different. My eyes are a little bit chinita but they're big and I'm trying to capitalize on that to make it look bigger doing a half line actually gives that illusion that your eyes are bigger so I would just um, blend that out so it doesn't look weird <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the angled brush just to blend it out Because if I do a full eyeliner on my eyes, I really look weird and I really look mataray. So if your face is something like that, you gotta have to work with what you have. So for me to make it more maamo, my face, to make it more charming, <laughs> I don't do a full eyeliner because it will make my eyes stronger and we don't want to look strong. Uh, during the interview, we want to look friendly and approachable. Okay? So that's it for the under eye eyeliner. And I'm using Catrice eyeliner. Liquid liner. Catrice Cosmetics is also from Germany. Most of my makeup now kasi I bought from my vacations in Germany. So I'm just gonna tight line my eyes. So eyeliner area. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this video. Alright. Let's do this. Tight lining. Okay. So I also use I know. I also use liquid eyeliner for me. Cause now my eyes is monolith. The gel ones doesn't work for me, eh? Cause you need to smudge sila. So if I put the gel eyeliner, pag pikit ko, pag dilat ko, nandun na sa taas ng gel liner. So ayun, I do tight lining. Kasi I find it best din for my eyes na hindi masyadong makapal yung eyeliner ko. Kasi nagiging mas ano ako, matapang yung eyes pag makapal. So, can you see that? So, that's like lining and I'm going to put a little bit of a wing just for fun. <laughs> so, there we go. So, guys, uh, I was putting on my eyeliner. So, I just put on more wings on the eyeliner. Here we go. And then just I'm using this Shuimura curl lash to curl my lashes. I really like Shuimura because it really works. And it's really matibay. So after that, I'm gonna use the Face Shop mascara sponsored by Regina, my friend. She always gives this to me during Christmas. And 
birthdays and New Year's. So I have a steady supply of face shop mascara. <laughs> so that's the reason I'm using that. And also it's really nice. It's really nice. It really makes my lashes longer. So the next step of the makeup process is doing the blush on. So right now, let me just do my blush on. Si ko lang yung ating powder. Okay, so I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette for the blush. Okay, so this is a bronzer, highlighter, and blush all-in-one. But as you can see, I already used up the bronzer and the highlighter. Pero may konti pa siya dyan. So I like using this pink blush on. It really is my go-to blush if I want to stand out. And uh, it's for a special occasion. That's why I don't really use it every day. It really complements the contouring that we did earlier. Here we go. So after that, ito, simutin natin ang highlighter na natitira sa aking <laughs> palette. So I like using the highlighter here, in this area here. And that will make your face brighter. Just a check motion to the side of your face. And the other side. Yeah. Okay. And also put on your nose bridge, on your temples, and on your chin. Antila. Para hindi natin mo mukhang stoplight. Pero it really makes the difference on your makeup. Diba? Okay. So for the lips, I'm gonna use a lip liner by Kiko, a dark pink lip liner. I like using this lip liner because it really defines my lips and mukha malinis if you lip, use a lip liner over uh, before a lipstick. So I only reserve this again for special occasions. Regular days, I would usually just use my lipstick. I will put it all over the lips para mas matagal yung kapit ng lipstick ko. May makakapitan sa lipstick. Then I also put the inner sides. So actually I can go for this look na this lipstick. But no, I want to put I want to put another lipstick on top of it. Para bonggang bongga yung makeup natin. Diba? Ayan. Okay. So, pag may lampas-lampas, you can use the cotton buds to clear it up nicely. So, so this is the lip liner. This is actually number 314 from Kiko. So for the lipstick, I'd like to use the Urban Decay Lipstick, Semi Matte Lipstick, uh, oh, Mega Matte. Mega Matte Lipstick in Crank. But actually, it just says Mega Matte, but it really feels like it's not super matte. It's like Semi Matte. Semi Creamy, Semi Matte. I don't dry my lips here. And I really love it. I like the combination of this lipstick and my lip liner. Yeah. I'm using that because we're going for an interview. So this is my look. This is my lipstick. This is the makeup look. Now we're gonna fix my hair. So I'm not going with the headband. 
if I was going for the interview. So Air Asia remembered that they like their flight attendants to put their hair down. They, that's uh, one of the uh, things that makes them different. So make sure that you put your hair in a nice hairdo, which is down. Because if you put it up, they will ask you to put it down. So it's better that you put it down na lang. So you you put it the best way possible na down. Kasi na ibabawa mo siya na nandun ka na pangit na, di ba? So you don't have a hairdresser there. So I like to use a dry shampoo. I'm using but this dry shampoo even after I I already have taken a shower because uh, this texturizes and volumizes my hair. So I will just put my hair like so. Mm -hmm. And let that soak in my hair. Okay, and I'm just gonna brush out my hair. If you guys want to make your hair uh, nicer, you could use a flat iron or you could curl it. You can hire a hairdresser to fix your hair for you if you want. Parang pampasalam. Yes, that will be nice as well. You know, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to have extra help during the day. If it would boost your confidence and it would help you out, you think that you could afford it, it could help you out. Then why not, diba? Why not, coconut? So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go for a very casual short hair look because I can pull it off. Even if I go to the interview like this, so okay. So I'm just gonna fix my hair to make it look casual, but still volumized. There, there we go. So there, there is my final look for Air Asia. Cabin crew recruitment hiring day. Ang haba no. Pero so this will be my final look for the Air Asia cabin crew open day. If I were to apply for them, so this is my hair and this is my makeup. So if you guys find this video helpful, interesting, entertaining, please give me a like. That really helps me a lot. Thank you so much for all the likes that you give my videos. And also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet been already subscribed for more flight attendant tips, beauty and travel vlogs. I'm your girl. So all of you guys also who wanted to apply or who wanted to have uh, personalized advice depending on your uh, special for your situation you can hire me as your Skype coach you can check out the details over at my website at www.misscakers.com and you can set an appointment for me to be really help you prepare the best way possible for your interview so you may check out my website and check out my Skype coaching program and I will see you guys face to face, hopefully soon, alright? So, good luck to all of you guys who are applying on the 24th and I will fly with you soon.